Welcome to the Engadget stage at E3. Hey. Hi, Tim. Welcome. Hi, Jess. How are you doing? I'm Jessica Conda, senior reporter at Engadget.com. Who do we have down the line? I'm Anita Sarkeesian. I work at Feminist Frequency. My name's Evan Rogers. I'm the Engadget social media manager. Uh, oh, yeah, and I'm Tim Seppel again, and I am, the, I am an associate editor. What are we doing today, Jess? So we've been doing a lot of VR today, and we're going to do a little more. Because this game was actually just revealed on our stage, world premiere, uh, for the HTC Vive, Duck Season. Um, you've not seen it, have you? No, no. But the dog looks like a character from Five Nights at Freddy's. It does. So, uh, so this is a, a take on the classic NES title we will all know and recognize, Duck Hunt. OK. It's not Duck Hunt, it's Duck Season, and it has 3D environments, gorgeous, gorgeous landscapes, gorgeous ducks that you can shoot all day, and a dog that looks like the Five Nights at Freddy's guy. And uh, we're going to throw you in the game, Tim. Okay. So go ahead and I'm put your headset you on. Yeah, yeah. All right, I'm going to jump into the So is this the like all universe Duck Hunt? Like the dark alternative? It, yeah, so like in the beginning, you don't really know what's going on with this game, but it's it gets kind of creepy uh, in like it gets really really creepy because uh, apparently if you shoot the dog the dog will bite back in some way he has some shoot kind of a dark right, past, dark backstory right but he doesn't die he doesn't right, die that's, that's the scary fair. part that's though okay. when you shoot a dog and it doesn't die that's kind of scary so go ahead tim so and should i go easy or medium medium easy easy we'll start out with easy <laughs> hard hard no oh, okay yeah <laughs> So stress so, level zero, those are the, the so developers. So what does the vibe right. want to do in this? So You'll that's, see. yeah, You'll see. it'll be, it it'll makes, become apparent. It makes uh, sense. You're not shooting kids, are you? So this is the, the intro scene. Uh, this is just, so there's an actual narrative in this game where you're a kid, your mom noticed that you were like looking at advertisements for this video game, that everyone was all, it's all the rage, so she gets it for you. And uh, it's 1988, so you sit down in the living room in front of your tube television, television, and uh, you play Duck Season. It's such a good aesthetic with the puppets. It's not cool. The, like intro, yeah. Yeah, this game is really sharp. Like it's really stylish in a way that when I first when I first heard the name, I was like, oh, you know, it'll be pixelated or something. It'll be uh, a little different. But yeah, this is really really well done. So what so, I love about this section right here. It's just the kind of like Stranger Things vibe. Oh yeah, it's like a, yeah. just a really nice, like childhood home. Setting off like a very, a little bit creepy introduction. Do you know what you're doing? Uh, kind, kind of. of. Okay. So right now we got the, we even have full motion video in this game. This game has wow. everything. 80s TV sets, 80s living room. I think everyone had a living room like this. Do I like? How do I change the input? Uh, I, think you have to just, I think you have to wait for the, to, the yeah. thing, yeah. You have to consume this content. I love that <laughs> word, Evan. Yeah. I really love that word. You have to do it. It's mandatory. Tim just wants to shoot some stuff already. Jeez, come on. Hang on a second. <laughs> but the really cool thing about this game, too, is how it uses the tracker on this, on this little blaster here, which looks, of course, very, very familiar for plenty of players, I'm sure. So this has finger tracking, right? Um, it, well, it has the, the trigger. Just the trigger. Yeah. But it doesn't have the, no? Okay. No. No. We're cheating. We have a developer in the corner. We can ask him questions. <laughs> I know, it's great. It's really nice. <laughs> Are we doing okay so far? We're all right? All right. All right, Tim, what are they saying to you right now? Oh, don't look into the, oh, don't look into the barrel of the gun. Did you just pull the trigger? <laughs> <laughs> he pointed at me. Tim. Oh, God. What the hell's going on with the clock? Still, do not hold punches. Okay, here you All go. Right. I think it's starting up. Oh yeah. This is all right. This is getting weird. You may want to stand up, actually. But um, don't fall you, off the stage. Yeah, Evan, if you want to make sure you're totally safe right now, just don't stay worry. stay in that area. Don't elbow Evan the, in the no, face. It's okay. Do what you got to do. Or Evan, don't. Get I don't want to fall the off face, the stage. Yeah. That's a real concern. Yeah. Okay. Level one, Tim. Let's do this. Oh, I'm so excited. And this is the first time you're seeing yeah, like any of it, right? Yeah, yes. yeah. Okay, cool. Oh, this is rad. So that's you in the oh, TV. What the? Oh my God! You're oh up. no! 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 no. That there, that's better. Oh, terrifying! Oh my oh, gosh! Okay. Children should not play with guns. There. 
So that's how you how that's how you play. Yeah. True facts. All right, folks, walking by the PC gamer booth. That is so creepy. Okay, like align controllers. We don't even know that this dog is a monster yet, but he's already creepy as hell. Yeah. I mean, he has Plus, to be, is there right? A way to grab I think this? so. Um, yeah, you've got to like oh, reload the gun and like do all. all oh, you you shot him a lot. All right. So I think we're gonna get the terrifying ending. <laughs> Good. Yeah, this game does have multiple endings. I think it has seven. Oh yeah, you've got a checklist of stuff. Oh to do. wow. Okay. And uh, yeah, like you can. You can basically reveal the dog's like serial killer tendencies in the end. All right, how right, do I so align you to... the controller? Mm -hmm. Do you, <laughs> you want to tell like, us? So like, like, oh, yeah, you got, got it. You got, got, it. got it. Round one. All right. Shoot those ducks. Not the. Not the well, dog. Eh, shoot the dog too. Whatever. No, he's creeping me out. <laughs> well, he's gonna be even creepier if you keep shooting him. No and you have to get ammo too, right? You have to like oh, actually you pick it up, I think. In, I yeah, guess. there's ammo in your truck, which is like kind of behind you. Did you guys play a lot of uh, the original game? We're not going to say the name anymore, but... <laughs> <That's> <laughs> definitely. Back in the day. It was definitely that like the really early gaming for me. Yeah. What about you, Evan? What? Do you have memories of a, a game like this? Absolutely, yeah. absolutely. I definitely wasn't allowed to have a console at home, so I would sneak over to my neighbor's house, right. play NES. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I was lucky I had if an I, older brother, so uh, yeah. I had all the games, yeah. If I remember correctly, though, I think this is one of those titles that my dad purchased like, more for himself than right. it was really for me. <laughs> He's like, my here's that, My dad did that with Top Gun on the NES? Absolutely. That's wow. awesome. How's it feel, Tim? Oh, there's some ducks. Oh, what? Oh, oh are those no. the dead ducks? Oh, dear. oh, they're like duck What do heads. I do? Oh, oh Well. Just keep, just keep murdering. This is what happens, I guess, when you shoot ducks. Oh, man. Don't take your eyes off the dog. I think it's creepy. <gasps> and then there's, it's not just this either. There are seven other, like, mini games that you can oh. play on the TV in the living room. Uh, like little ninja games or little fighting games. It looks really, really cool. I haven't seen I haven't seen much of those yet, though. Does the level end when you kill a certain amount of ducks? Is that or is this? There you go. Yeah, yeah. Great. Looks like it. Great. Good job. What a creeper. Do I oh, pass the helmet? Dog. Yeah, pass the helmet. Oh okay. no. Oh. Okay. I'm gonna have to pay for your sins. <laughs> I know, he's doomed us all, really. It's not just him. Yeah. It's all of us. Ooh, creepy, there he is. All right. Yeah, it's a little jarring to look at. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Just, you know. uh, there you go, there you go. Thank you. There you go. Yeah. One second. Oh, it even has the cord. Oh. I love that, running from the controller. Oh, that's, yeah. so, that's such a good touch. Oh, no, my hand. Oh, no. That's not good. That's, that's not what a hand should look like. That's what your hands look like, man. What do you mean? There you go. Oh, yeah. There you go. Oh, nice. yeah. Have you done much Vive, Evan? Have you played? Have I what? Have you played much Vive? No. No. Actually, okay. this is my first time with a Vive ever. Hey, oh, welcome hey. to the Vive. This is VR. <laughs> nice to meet you. Oh! So okay. I think I think you get to play some mini games um, if you want, or you can, Battle Bros. you can probably jump into Duck Season again, too. Yeah. Yeah. I will say for for having it be my first time using the Vive, it works, it Feels works good, very right? well. Yeah. yeah. Are you immersed? Oh man, everyone's shooting the dog. It's He's because he's, he looks like a monster. He is yeah. a monster. I will say that is that is satisfying. That is very satisfying. To shoot the dog. Oh, bam. I mean, it's not any different. I always used to shoot the dog on NES too, so. I love dogs. I but love not, dogs. Not, 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 you know, not these ones. Oh, Evan. You're not a natural hunter, man. Yeah, you're from Tennessee. Oh, Shouldn't you be good at <laughs> like hunting? Listen, I can't, re I can't reveal my true skills. It's really pretty. It, that's oh, a, like, it's this like a lovely environment. Yeah. Which makes the dog even creepier, uh, though. Yeah, I don't know yeah. how the play is uh -oh. oh, oh. There we go. Uh-oh. Oh, you you pressed application. Where's the application? Help. Yep. Help. 
I don't know which one it is. There you go. Okay, cool. Thank you. I like Revan. Whatever. Nice. Do it. Boom. Boom. Yeah. Yeah, this is this perpetual sunset. It's, it's very calming, actually. It's gorgeous for yeah. all the murder that you're doing. Yeah. Because if oh, you I had see. just like a really dark environment and you were also shooting some ducks, it, would, it might lead to a different tone. Yeah, it would be the oppressive kind of VR. You don't really want to feel dark and closed in in VR, no. unless it's a horror game, maybe. Yeah. Which, hey, yeah, maybe. It's a little, it's a little, little bit of a horror game. Just, yeah. Is this a horror game? Yeah, yeah. We, we, whoop. Yeah. So I didn't notice, actually, on the side, you got the little duck counter. Yep. Yeah, that's yep, so I cool. That too. Yeah. I wish it would count the times you shot the dog. I wonder if it does somewhere. Like if it end. tells you at the end. Yeah. Like you have shot the dog 35 times. You have killed seven dogs. Oh, oh man. Oof. Oh, he's getting weirder. Yeah. Ugh. Definitely getting glitchy. Uh, is that supposed to happen? His like, ears, his floppy ears. Nice. Yay. Yay. Great. All right, now. Anita, do oh, you want to play? I can try. I've actually never done a shooter in VR because I'm a little fundamentally opposed to them. But I mean, like, it's ducks, They're right? They're ducks. Yeah. It's classic. Yeah. 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 All right. We've all we've all done things we regret. <laughs> at, at E3, especially. <laughs> yeah. But this is this is the least regretful thing you will do at E3. I think so. This well, is we haven't we good. haven't seen the end of. Uh, oh my God! Go. What's happening? We haven't seen the end of That's what? my of face. The game. Okay. Have oh. you seen the end of the game? I mean, you don't know. You don't know what's going to happen. The clock, the cat clock, really, really creeps me why out. Do you, why do you not like that cat clock? Ah, it, cause it was, I had a friend that had that clock. Okay, so when I was just screwing around in the living room, I didn't oh. see it moving. And then it just started moving. In. But why is it hitting looking. my face? Oh, it is. It's turned around. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Help. I broke it. I'm just gonna like destroy this living room. You know any tricks for it's that? like you have a cramp in your wrist that is just like your your hand is The a left claw. hand? Okay, let's see it. I'll take this from you real fast. Yeah. Alright. We're getting some technical assistance. Oh. Here's this right hand. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's right then? Okay, cool. Here you go. Here's one on your left. Oh, we have to click it? Yeah. Oh, sorry. Uh but okay, so you have to hit the right hand. There you go. Oh my god, I have no idea I'm what's so happening. Sorry. <laughs> That's your zapper. Okay. And this. It's the claw. Hold that like that. No. Oh, there you go. Oh. That's not disturbing. What? All right, so now we're. And then hit, hit the right hand. So it. Oh, yeah. There you go. Shoot. Okay. And then the center button, this one here. Is that fixed? That didn't work. No, that didn't work. <laughs> I'm trying to replicate this. I feel like a contortionist though, so that's kind of cool. No, you look cool. Yeah. You look good. Yeah. Do we have to reboot or anything, do you think? Possibly. We may have to reboot, unfortunately. But there's that's, king bit force. That's the only way to figure out how to beat the All right. boss. Maybe. Do you want to yeah, take here, it? Here, I'll take it out. Yeah, take this off your hands. And off your face. <laughs> OK, we can reboot that. Uh, that is a really. All right. VR is always this like special experience because you can watch someone else in it, but once you get in, you're like, oh, I'm in this cool living room with yeah. like all this crap everywhere. Like I, it's, it's like, familiar. It's that whole presence thing that yeah. everybody's been talking about. Yeah. Immersion. It's, it's Immersion. one of the things. Immersion. Yeah, I mean, like it's a real thing for folks who've never been in VR. When you talk about it, they don't like. You know, there was a whole thing that came up around like harassment in VR and that sort of thing, and how I feel like being in it, like you, you immediately go, oh yeah, I could see how that would be a thing. You and like, get it. Being, having these like immersive experiences and feeling it like you're in space or you're in this living room is it's hard to explain if you've never done it before well and that's one of the the challenging selling points of VR because you really don't get it until you try it exactly yeah yeah I had my dad come over and try out PSVR and he did the descent demo with the shark cage and my dad loves saltwater fish and like he's just never has been able to go swimming in the ocean or anything like that and he, it blew his mind Enjoy. just seeing the, the descent of the shark cage and everything happening. And he was so into it. Like, he was standing up and he almost fell over because he was trying to lean out of the cage. It was, I love those videos of people falling was, over in VR, by the way. It was great. It was the best. Um, uh, here. Yeah, swap it. There you go. Uh, oh, it's still way. wrong. That way. And, yeah, you got it. You're still you're It's still, still wrong, trying. though. Go to options if you can. Oh god. Oh no. 
Is this something that I did? This is so. I feel so like dark. I feel like I'm the one that's well, at fault for this. All right. Are you opposed to uh, shooters, or are they opposed to you? Apparently, we'll never, apparently we'll never, it doesn't really want me to no. shoot ducks. Yeah. That's okay. That's fine. The we gun. got some. We got some good gameplay going. <laughs> and uh, and they are still building this game, so uh, yeah, I'm no. sure it'll be just fine when it comes out. Uh, <laughs> Whatever, I just awesome. kind of want to hold this. Yeah, it's yeah. kind of cool. No, yeah. it's good. You just shouldn't point it at your own face. I'm not going to. Yeah. I'm not Timothy Cephala. <laughs> I think I broke this. That's why it was like constantly pointed. Like, I, I think, get it. I think you did. This is my fault. This is all Tim's I, fault, and that's I okay. Mean, that's fair. Is that your so, motto, anyway, It's so. always Tim's fault? E3 is Tim's fault, actually, I think. The entire show. <laughs> wow, kind of, those are fighting no, words. No, it kind of is. It kind of is. <laughs> it is. He scheduled a lot of our show, so... Yeah, yeah. It's, it's all my fault. E3 is basically your fault. Um, so, this is your your first um, look at this game, but you yeah. played VR before, obviously. I have, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, do you like the... Do you have a preference of headsets? Um, I... Not... They're all kind of... Yeah. Yeah, so I have a PlayStation VR at home, um, and I I find that comfortable enough to play for longer periods of time. Yeah, me um, too. I haven't played a ton of the Vive, but like one thing is space, right? Just a matter of having the space to be able to play this. Like, I love Fantastic Contraption. It was one of the first VR games yeah. I played where I was like, oh, I get why VR exists. Yeah. Like, this is one of those reasons. Um, but it took me. I was a... Uh, I was late to getting on the VR bandwagon because I was like, eh, who's going to sit around with a headset in their living room? So how a lot of people play your PlayStation VR? I mean... No, because I, I'm going to... I'll drop... No, because <laughs> mine has been sitting on a, I mean, on a chair in my living room for the last five months on play. It, you know, it's one of those things... Like, I don't have... Making time to play games is hard in general, yeah. right? So we, we stream a lot at Feminist Frequency. Um, yeah. We do gaming streams, and so we'll stream VR games on on Twitch or whatever, and um, that's usually when I get into it, but I'm always like, oh, you know, like you see all these demos here, mm -hmm. you're like, oh, I'm gonna go play this at home, and you just run out of time, right? Yeah. But I think one of the things I'm really looking forward to is when the hardware catches up to, like, user experience in some way, when it's lighter and easier, and it feels like putting on glasses, yeah. but it's still that same space, and I'm really looking forward to that time, where, like, it doesn't feel like, oh, what's plugged into what, and how do you make it work, and yeah. all that kind of yeah. stuff. Well, yeah, I will say, not to stand too hard for HTC. It's pretty cool that like we can all like put the headset on because I don't know if you guys have ever used like the even the newer Gear VRs. Yeah. Like you've got to adjust it like the diopters for yeah. your particular, and it has to be like perfectly snugly on. Yeah. And like this, you can pretty much just yeah. throw on. It's, With glasses yeah, too. Yeah, that's yeah. a big that's one. Huge. And yeah. Yeah. PlayStation VR, you can use glasses too. Yeah. I, it's true. Like it's nice. I, it's a really interesting time to just see all of the different ways that people are experimenting with it and like yeah. per kind of perfecting this model of yeah. what is VR, what is a headset, yeah. how does it feel, what direction do we want to go with it. Yeah. Like, I mean, the last, the last headset that I used was like the original like Oculus demo that yeah. was like duct taped together at CES <laughs> like five years ago. So it's uh, better now. So. That's, yeah, <laughs> it's much better. Yeah. We've come a long way. And like eventually, not even that far in the future, we're going to look back at this time in gaming and be like, Wow, I can't believe we put that on our heads. I can't believe we thought that was cool. I can't yeah. wait for that. But right gonna, now it is cool. They're you gonna know have what? photos of us literally on the stage and be like, ah. I know, like, yeah. oh, sorry. <laughs> yeah, Why? Cool. Yeah. 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 Remember that big, thick bundle of cables that was attached to your face? Yeah, that's gone now. That, that's that, gone that, now. That was an awkward period in our industry and our lives. It's much better now. It's like those brick cell phones. Yeah. Like, yeah, yeah, now it's so Listen, silly. The Star Trek I, was yeah. hot, okay? Yeah. One of the other things that got me, like, really interested in VR, too, is I, I feel like the potential outside of games is huge, and I think that that might be where it, like, games really, you know, they threw a ton of money into VR yeah. and, like, really tried to make this a thing, and we'll see where that goes, but the, what I've been so interested in is the documentary stuff about yeah. VR, so, yeah. like, um, you know, the solitary confinement space in Chernobyl and all of those different, like, spaces in which you can see the world in a way that's so different. Like, yeah. it, it does really feel like you're there in a lot of ways, and the potential for empathy building and the potential for, like, education, and it's I'm very stoked about education. Education, yeah. I, education's a good thing. Yeah. <laughs> education. Well, I'm in the context. Of I'm for it. <laughs> Um, okay, yeah. so that was a long day. That was a lot of VR, but you know what? This is the end of Engadget's day one E3 sure? floor. This is it. Yes, wow. I am sorry. sure. Sorry for all. I, I know <laughs> secrets that no one else does. 
but <laughs> thank you everyone for joining us uh, today, day one of E3 2017. Uh, we're going to be back tomorrow. E3 Daily kicks off at 10 a.m. PT, and we'll recap everything that's happened at the show so far. And then we're going to have a ton of panels, a ton of games. Uh, so so uh, check it out. We also have up? Albert Pinello from Xbox coming by with a Xbox One X, and I'm going to interview him tomorrow, at one o'clock in the afternoon. One o'clock, one one p.m. PT. One p.m. Eastern. Yep. We yep. are going to see the Xbox One X on stage right here. So that's pretty cool. Uh, yeah. All right. We'll see you tomorrow. Follow us on Instagram. Instagram too. <laughs> <laughs>